Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Integration by Parts DX. And I have not done much of anything. I dressed up the outside a bit. So <laughs> that's as far as I've gotten on my work shed. Uh, what I need to do, because I've been putting it off for way too long, is I need to get this other distillation tower hooked up here. And you know, honestly, right there is fine. And I can always move it. Uh, the capsules are great for that. Uh, it's right here. No. There. Alright, so we have input. We grab our input. We are going to be finally processing magical mixture. Uh, which I managed to get some... But not much. I've only got yeah, 132 buckets from the, uh, the Neromatic Prime. But I did get some. So, But I need distilled or destabilized redstone. And... You go here. That is not the input. The input's over here. This is fluid output here. Okay, I just did not mean to mine the grass. So, here. I need to do something with lava, too. Do I have a pump on me? I do not. Okay. Um, I don't have one here, either. That's what I did. I know I made the bottling machine that takes an extra pump because of the, how the capsules work. Right. Oh, I have one in here, though. Uh, what am I going to do with the lava, though? I don't particularly need it. Let's do this instead. <laughs> All right. I don't have, you know, all the lava sounds in my ear now. Um, we are going to be pushing this into here. Hey, look at you go. I need a point now. Uh, let's see, power is right here. Hey, look, we're making molten glass, energized glowstone, and destabilized redstone. So... Um, tank. I have two simple black hole tanks. Are they both empty? They are. Okay. Uh, molten glass, I'm pretty much just going to have to run that into a casting basin. Or a casting table to make panes, I guess. And yeah, it's full. So let me, oh, and you just spat out a bunch of sugar and gunpowder. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put that stuff away and mechanical pipe. Oh, that's the item output. This is fluid output. Hey, destabilized redstone. In you go. And then you can have that. This is a lot. There we go. And now it's probably full of glass, right? Yeah. Now we need glass here. Uh, yeah, it was another stack and a half of each there. Cool. So let me like, get an ender chest. What are you? And then tank. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Okay, actually, I should go ahead and at we're going tank. Um. Yeah, simple is probably the best for now. Get this thing taught. A steel and advanced machine block. I, uh, you know what? I'm not doing that right now. I don't have the uh. My machines moved over and set up for auto crafting yet, so that would just be pretty much a waste at this point. Uh, but 
basin, right? Hey, we actually have one. Sweet. Do we have... Uh, I probably have some logistical transporters on me. Hmm. I just had a thought, though, too. Uh, I'm not going to be able to filter what goes into the basin if I do this, right? About at foregoing tank. And we'll get ourselves just a, uh, a common, right? Iron gear. Sure, why not? I still haven't taught you how to make iron gears. They're actually really not that common, are they? Uh, we need, yeah, pity black hole tanks. We need for the elevator, hive hopper, block breaker, the extractor, and the common black hole unit. Yeah, it's really not a very commonly used item. So that explains why I don't have it yet. And you go here. You can go here, and we will just go ahead and get one of these. I'm pretty sure I can filter just fine with the tank. And we'll put you here. All right. Now, you can go here. And it'll automatically export that into there for us. We are going to need our casting basin to go here. You, my friend, are going to push to the left. And then I need uh, some basics for work, right? Do that. And that. And now it's got to work through this molten glass because it outputs in order. So, and there's still glass in here as well, so... But the main thing I need is I needed two buckets of this. Do I have my buckets on me? I do. And you will go here and here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got a comment on well, as of recording this yesterday, it's a video about the... Oh, hey, there we go. The blood not wanting to work. Huh. Sometimes it kicks off automatically, sometimes it doesn't. So... Uh, for all fun fantasies. Now I need to make this into the mead. Okay, I need honey. Do we have any honey? But I don't think I do. I do not. Uh, let's see, what are ways to get honey? Honeycombs or from the honey bottle? Okay. Like with honey, kind of the same way. Or honey blocks. There are honey seeds, but we kind of need honey to make the honey seeds. Looking to see if there's any... Yeah, no. There's no roundabout way of just, you know, getting honey on my own. Uh... Look, touch. I need a beehive. All right, so thank God you can force trees to uh, have uh, nests on them. Hey, we got a little bit of honey in there. And then, let's see. I had to go through a lot of trees, mind you, but it's doable. All right. So for anybody that doesn't know, grow a oak i believe birch works as well sapling next to a flower and it has a chance to spawn a bee's nest and then you can just put a thermal series you know hive hopper underneath and it'll extract both honeycombs and liquid honey out of the hive as it comes in really though i'm gonna have to wait till i get a full bucket Okay, that was... Why did a ghost item in there? I don't know. Um, right. Probably get some more poppies out and breed them again. Three bees. Where did one of them go? I had three in here originally. Bred them once, so there should be four. The baby's still around.
the hell, guys? <laughs> Let me make sure there's no flowers, you know, close by. Alright, and these might be close enough. I'm not sure what their uh, detection range is, so... Yeah, let's hope no more run away. And I don't have anything around here that would really kill a bee, unless it went down here. Kind of doubt it. Huh, yeah, one of them just vanished. Okay. Yeah, two bees left, and there's this one here. Okay, great. Yeah, three. So I'm going to have to wait then until this thing runs two more cycles, which is reliant on the bees. Uh, before I can get enough honey, maybe, maybe. Isn't there a way that I can separate these? I, I only get 100 millibuckets per, though. And I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten 10 of those yet, so... I've gotten four. <laughs> so even if I could process that, throw it into that tank over there, I would still be 100 millibuckets short. Um, something else I could do. I do have reservoir. I need to go over here. Hey, there we go. And then I can use the encapsulator, I'm pretty sure, to put these into, or put the honey into glass bottles. So... I'm going to need another bottle then. Here, let's put the uh, flowers away. Alright, so if I was to then drop that in there. Hey, there we go. Got our honey bottles. And there's our mead. Alright, by drinking it. Okay. Wanted to double check. Oh, hey, and it turned it into a mana glass vial. Interesting. From Great Evil, you feel how you suddenly gain the ability to talk in any language used in the Nine Worlds. Okay. Okay, let's put that away. Um. Yeah, yeah. No. Making sure that stuff didn't go anywhere weird. Let's put that away for now, too. And that, and that, and that. And you can go here, right? That was a quest reward from something. Uh, we got here, we got Excalibur's Demise. And is this the actual AIO? Yeah, it is. It is the Terra Steel AIOT. Fortune 3 on it. Okay, that means that I don't need this one on me anymore. This does not have vein mining, though, but, oh well. I can always, you know, make up vein mining. Alright, so let's give this a try, see if we can go to Alfheim. There's supposed to be a lot of evokers and witches in this dimension. Alright. That was a nasty surprise. Now here's a question. There may not be enough mana in these. Hmm. Alright, so I've got two full mana pools over here now. And... Yeah, I've got this running as well. Alright, so it's not instantaneous. Okay. Tiny portal. I want to make sure I don't lose it. Hey, we got witches. Dreamwood trees. Oh, that's cool. All the dreamwood I could possibly want, then. Hello. Swamp Petal Apothecary. With a couple petals inside of it, nonetheless. 
Uh, yeah, I should probably get my uh, pouch out too, right? There it is. Now, this is the only dimension I can actually put the orchid in. Nightshade motif. Okay. Yeah, motif. They're not functional. Oh, great. I got blinded. I'm being shot. What was this last one? Okay. Uh, see, I, blindness is one of those status ailments I hate with a passion. It's like, very good. Now you don't get to play the game for a while. There he is. All right. Let's got to track where the arrows are coming from. Yeah, we, yeah, but there's a lot of uh, mystical flowers here as well. We got sheep. Okay. Cows. Cool. I need more cows for any reason. Like, I'm an idiot again. I can come over here and grab a bunch. Alpine Hills. We've got Golden Fields. It's all wheat. Oh, yeah. Cool. I mean, it's not like I need it, but... be handy if I did, I guess. And... There are all sorts of petal pop carries around here. They all have flowers in them? Petals? Yeah, they do. Look at that. I guess it's a way to stock up on a few petals here and there. And there's another one over here. Things are everywhere. Hey, this one actually doesn't have anything in it. All right. So now that we're here, I need to get my orc out. Neuromantic Prime. Varying quantities and look at me two shifting stars and enderman seeds. Okay, cool. Energy to mana and back again. The flexible converter can convert energy into mana, but can only be made in the all time dimension. Okay. Too bad there wasn't a way to convert mana into, oh, I don't know, a fluid. That'd be kind of cool. Although I could, you know, just charge up, you know, mana tablets or something and send those across dimensions. Oh, hey, it's a regular tree. Rubber tree? Yeah. Okay, I figured. They don't care where. They'll they'll spawn anywhere there's grass. So, Hey, look at that, though. Living rock. White petal. Cool. So, living rock. All we could ever want over here. There's no living wood. Well... There's a dreamwood forest, right? Is there like a living wood forest? See, I was thinking about it, and that would make no sense for there to be a, a dream or a living wood forest in this dimension because you trade dr living wood for dreamwood. So there'd be no point in you know the elves trading with you if the uh, the trees grew naturally here anyway. I am looking at uses for the orchid right now, and we're going to get. Decent stuff, but also some useless stuff as well. And ahead of my inventory so we can complete this quest. Two stacks of stone and a floating white flower. Okay. I could get that automated. Now, why is the Neuromantic Prime, like, gated behind here? It's noon. I should have my thing on me, right? The the POSIC resonator. Or actually, no, it's the DOMIC resonator, isn't it? Yeah, uh, this thing. A Cossack. Yeah. I wonder if it'll work in this dimension. 
Because maybe this dimension has like larger reservoirs. I think we can hope, right? I don't have to wait for nighttime. Or I can just use one of these. All right. Yeah, these are the fountains that show up. Uh, that's water, lava. I never did find oil, actually, using the narrow magic. I'm just... Oh, God. All right, thank you for just making me wait now. Huh. And I get a stick out of it. Interesting. Um, but I have not found any of the proper fountains for magical mixture, or whatever it's called. It's a, uh, ah, oh, dang it. This is a pain. All right. Uh, isn't there like a charm that prevents harmful effects? From dark utilities. Gluttony, experience, sleep, portal. No, there's not. I guess it's only in later versions, or it's just not in this pack, so either or. Okay, kind of have to fly around and then wait because the fountains aren't continuous. Guess we can look at the stars for a while. Kind of barely show up. Hey, sun's coming up. Which means this thing in my hand is going to quit working any minute now. And yeah, I didn't see any. It's like a uh, bright pink uh, fountain that comes up. Lots of yellows, lots of blues. Lots of variations of those colors. I think the intensity is. Uh, of the color is how much that fluid is there. Which water is a moot point because if you drain out the other reservoir, you just get water. So why the hell is there? You realize you can put lava in these things, huh? I've never tried. That's not much point. So I'm gonna head back to the overworld for now. Because if nothing else, I need to pick up a, a Neuromantic Prime. we go. Uh, see, those, my primes should be over here. Yeah, here we go. Finally got that quest completed. All right, shifting stars is actually not bad. The downside is they don't stack. And we've got this stuff to claim. I still haven't claimed these, actually. A rune of Envy and a Rune of Autumn. But, uh, hmm. I want to play with this a little bit. At least me and Alfheim. Nice. I like that. Fabulous mana pool. We get some lenses. We get a diluted mana pool. Okay. Makes me think that the diluted mana pool and the flex field do not place with the multi block. All right, put all these petals that I just gathered away. And more Dreamwood. I cut down a couple trees. The leaves don't decay, by the way. That's a thing I can check. Uh, it does not look like there is a Dreamwood sapling. Although, is that a fruit or something? Dream cherries. Glowing effect, huh? Marks affected outlines with a glow. Outline glow, allowing them to be seen through blocks. All right. 
so I need, well, let's go ahead and claim these and that. What do I need Enderman seeds for? I mean, Enderman essence, right? Use that to make Ender pearls. Okay. And Eyes of Ender. I'm already growing Ender pearls, though. So it's like, oh, thanks, I guess. All right, so what do we need for this? I need energy input. I need the controller. I need a mana output. I need shimmer rock. Uh, let's see, did I make the bifrost yet? One to the bifrost. Might have at one point in time. It doesn't look like it. Okay. So, Wand of the Bifrost. There we go. And now, I use these to make Bifrost glass out of Alf glass. Then I can use these to make Shimmer Rock. I need six Shimmer Rock. I'm just going to leave that in here. All right, there's that. Submit. Uh, deleted mana pools are living rock slabs. Let's see, and now mastery. I needed, it was an energy input port. I need a mana output, which is that. Okay. Need the controller, energy, mana. I need living rock brick walls as well. Okay. So controller. Generic controller. There we go. How many walls did I need? Well, okay. There's our 12 walls. Uh, we need the flux field. I did make one of those at some point and then realized it can't be placed in this dimension. So turn that in, that in, that in. I just need to sawmill these three things into that. Okay. Uh, flux field converter and converter. All right, cool. Easy enough. And that'll give me all of this wonderful stuff here. So, mana lenses, fabulous mana pool, diluted flux field. Got this thing here. And there it kind of goes. Okay. So, that quest is done at least, right? You can convert energy into mana, but can only be made in the all-time dimension. Yeah, energy input, mana output. Let me get a spreader now. Okay, I'll just take that one. I've got mana pools. So, if I want to automate the orchid, I need a block breaker of some kind. Right, so let me look at this. How do we make stone? Easily, right? Igneous extruder. Water, lava, magma block. Okay. So let's give me an extruder. I am missing a Constantin gear. Very good. That made up and there's our extruder. Let's see, there's probably still two buckets. Oh no, it used the bucket up too. <laughs> from the uh, destabilized redstone from earlier. Need a magma block? Okay. So that is our stone production done. Right. We are going to need our orchid. 
Now I need a way to break and place blocks. All right, I think I can work with this. All right, I think I have everything I need. Here we go. Oh, that's right, you actually have to place them next to, uh, in that case. Let's go ahead and magma block, fruiter, water, lava. All right, let me grab a transporter. I'm gonna put a drawer down there. I keep putting this thing away and then immediately have to get it back out like times a day. All right, so we've got stone coming in. Let me go ahead, just in case, uh, we are going to lock that. And we're gonna throw, that's a constructor. That's my external storage. There we go. Throw that on there. Controller. Toss a grid on. Get ourselves some power. And I'm going to need some cable as well. I did not bring a whole lot of cable, did I? So let me go ahead and put you down here. And I might need to grab some sort of inventory as a medium here. You know, halfway point. Should be fine though. Should be fine. And I need one of you now. You are going to do an advanced exporter here. Do a constructor, say, here. Destructor, here. You are going to blacklist the stone. You are going to place stone. Table that. And I do need other, I need an inventory of some kind here. Because this won't break the block if it doesn't have where to put it, and it doesn't see this as a valid destination. All right. All right. So what instead what we're going to do is we're going to remove our exporter and we're going to throw an external storage down. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Now I'm going to need my orchid down. I'm going to need the mana pool port. Let me get my wand of the forest to make sure everything is. Yep. See, there we go. Now you're fine. Now this just needs mana. So. Uh, you know what? Not great, but. That'll work just fine, right? Like that. I did not include mana spreaders in that. There is a diluted mana pool. Um, is the, yeah, the converter was underneath. Okay, so it just gave me extra. Or the flux field, uh, yeah, mana flux field. There we go, there's that, that. All right, so. If I was just to then aim you there, is that gonna be fine? Oh no, I see how this works. Okay. Right. Yeah. There we go. And then I just need to power this thing somehow, which hey, look, we've got universal cables. Uh, let's just go ahead and use the basic ones. I'm not sure how much power this is going to run.
Okay. And I hate how loud this thing is. There we go. Now I just need to chunk load this area. So. Oh, hell, I even got it all inside of a chunk. Maybe. But, yeah. So let me go ahead. Chunk we're in. Claim it. Load it. It's too loud. Alright, so we can make it work faster if we put a couple of Gaia spreaders here instead. And, uh, yeah, we're training the mana out of here. So maybe just one Gaia spreader is all we need to keep up with it. And it's taking about, it looks like 4,000 at times to uh, keep this thing full. But it's producing relatively quick, actually. And uh, something else I did is I made a Silk Touch upgrade. Just need a Silk Touch book, which you can get the dummy books. Just need a cobweb, which, hey, yeah, that's craftable. So, I mean. But it's Silk Touching it. External storage says, hey, this is perfectly fine. I'm going to throw everything into this box here. And then we can look in here, and there's just literally... We have stone, right? And it actually shows, like, what's going on here. There we go. So most of what we're going to get is going to be coal, right? Uh, if we look at the orchid here, 24, well not most, but you know, this is going to be the highest proportion. 24 out of every 64 stone is going to be coal. Further 10 of those is going to be iron. 5 of those, can, after that's bauxite, then inferium. And all the way down to like 1 is going to be amber, and then diamond, apatite, uranium. Uh, amber, I don't think there's really any use for that. Make amber gems, which make amber blocks with, or we can make eyes of ender with. And we can use them in the, this setup here to make power one books. Okay. Crystallite helmet. Efficiency one. Crystallite chest plate. Leggings and boots. Yeah, so. Stuff that's really only all that useful if you're doing a completely 100% end based playthrough. Which is possible with better end forge. You don't have to go to the overworld for anything. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be working pretty decently now. This should be drained out completely, yes. This mana spreader is now not doing anything, so we're just going to pick that up. This one's doing all the work. And it's keeping up just fine. And it's actually the point where we're making extra mana. Because the orchid has a uh, maximum speed it can operate at, it looks like. So once this mana pool is full... This thing will start drawing even less power, which is awesome. Now, I don't have automatic ore processing of any kind set up. So the ores are just going to be gathering in my system, so we can kind of keep an eye on how well it's working. I might use a um, another one of those to move mana to the overworld. But I've got the mana death generator that we can do over here as well. And now that it's automated, I can easily, you know, do that again. Especially since the uh, the hot milk portion is 100% being taken care of by the uh, by my refined storage system. All right, so there's that. I'll keep that on me for now. All right, but that is probably going to call it an episode at this point. Uh, we've got New Dimension. We've got the Orchid automated finally. We made that thing, I don't know how many episodes ago. And we can finally use it. Uh, how are we doing on ores now? Uh, we've, we've got 19 coal. We've gotten 8 iron. We've gotten 4 inferium. And a bunch of solium ore. I'm just go ahead and... I haven't processed this yet, so... It's just... A simple smelting is all you can do with it, so it's fairly easy to process. Uh, we got a little bit of copper, it looks like. We got some tin and lead. We got nickel, silver. Nickel's actually kind of an important one right now because there's a few things I need it for, and it's honestly it's probably rarer than diamonds. So bit of a downer there, but yeah, what are you gonna do? 
for ore processing, I should also hook up a destructor with a Fortune 3 augment in it. Nothing else I could do with dimensional shard ore and my draconium ore that we occasionally get. Occasionally, I've got a stack plus 10 here, so. And the cobalt. How am I going to process cobalt? I can arc furnace it. I can induction smelt it. I get one and a little bit of that. Uh, if I want to ore double cobalt, I have to use the arc furnace. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. I need to process up my dash and everything still too. I need to get better mana production going in the overworld now. And uh, start hooking up my actual ore processing. Oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> Teleposers can move collector crystals from temples. It's a bit cheesy, but it works. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Oh, by the way, th these lamps are staggered because it's an even number wide here. So there's no center for me to hang these parallel photo lanterns. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.